yourself, um, you know, being a new you. That's not happening. <laughs> Instead, look at who you really are and what you're about and and innovate with that in mind. And again, remember, live streaming is pretty hard. Live streaming is exhausting. It's the hardest thing I do. <laughs> innovate. Innovate live streams. Do something in a new way. Nailed it. Look at all this stuff. Okay, so uh, I have two dogs who guard the house uselessly. Useless dogs is what I have. And they, oh, this is very light. Uh, they bark at their own shadow. But when the mailman comes or the FedEx guy and the UPS guy and the post office guy all at the same time, oh, this is so beautiful. Uh, they lose their shit. And so it's very, very stressful. It helps me burn all the calories. Oh, there he is. There he is. The one and only. Oh, my gosh. God, we did such good work, Steph. Dude. I, mean, I might just walk around with this whole, all Saturday. Hey, it's just a box. Here, have your bunny. There you go. This, you know what? I actually don't know what the name of this is. It's a poster. It's a foam board. And this is going to hold, I believe this is the directional sign. This is going to hold an arrow to point you to the right spot to go to the wine country distillery festival. Oh wow, it's stacked shirt. Oh, it's everything. This is Poppy and Vine Life, which is who's the client. And the and Lindsay, who owns Poppy and Vine Life, is putting on the Wine Country Distillery Festival. And and you will notice that it's established in 2019. Do you know why? Because this is the first one of its kind ever. So next year, it's gonna say established 2019, but only 2020, because only the second one. It's gonna be so awesome. Oh, this is the bane of my existence, right here. This is the step and repeat, and I don't think I'm gonna open this, because I will decline to open it. This, by the way, is what it looks like at least once a week. Okay, so here, here I'll tell you why we're doing this video in the first place. The reason why is because um, it's, it's really easy to stand behind a beautiful light and have everything be organized and, and perfect and, and just kind of appear like you've got it all figured out, which, you know, I'm marginally good at, but I want you to know if you're watching this, that this is actually what goes on. Like it's not organized. It's not, it's pure chaos, but what we do inside the agency, I think we do really well and not because we're perfect at it. But because, to your point, Steph, which we talked about this weekend, we do it well. Uh, we pay attention to what the client needs. We pay attention to, this is fun. <laughs> we pay attention uh, to what the project needs. We pay attention to not just what they say they need, but what their value prop is. And then if that's the value, well, that was loud. If the value prop says quality and and uh, also like like the distillery festival, she, she talks about creating an experience. Well, then, you know, ordering a banner is part of making that experience happen. And so that's what we do. We, we, we facilitate that in a way, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. In a way that makes sense to, uh, to the brand, to their brand. Look at this. This is a this is a step and repeat, you guys. You don't know what that is? It's a banner. It's a banner. <laughs> that's all that is. Um, so that's one of the things we do. And every single one of these. So here's one thing we do. This logo we did, and this logo we did. Actually, we did this one first, and we did that one. So we do logos, but we don't just do logos because logos you can get. I hear this. Never done this before, but you can get a logos off the internet for forty dollars. Super great price. That's a great deal. That's like going to the dollar store to get yourself, I don't know, makeup. Uh, and here, and I love the dollar store, but not for makeup. Because the reason why you want to work with an agency and you want to work with us is because the logo is not what's important. Yes, it's important. Yes, it has to be tight. And yes, it has to be great. But what you're doing and why you're doing it is so much more important. And then paying attention to where this thing is actually going to live. Like 
the wine country distillery festival if you go to the festival you will see this logo on the tiniest of spaces like a coaster uh, we may even have stickers do we have stickers we have stickers of of the of the logo and then you will see it on this giant setup of a banner so these things have to translate to all kinds of platforms and they have to communicate what it is that you are doing and why you're doing it. And one single element in a brand doesn't do that by itself. All of these elements have to fit together. And that's where the strategy comes in. You know, most agencies won't take this kind of work on. And here's why. Because n n nothing wrong with not taking it on. But it's a lot of administrative work. And it's a lot of, there's a lot of room for tiny, teeny, tiny errors which we learned the hard way. And so we take it on because we want our clients to feel taken care of. I want them to know that we got you. I got you. So if it's a problem to you, dude, I'll find a way to fix it. So this is a pop-up banner. And the reason why I'm laughing about that is because uh, jury's still out of what these things are actually called. So what did we call it? Retractable banner. Retractable banner, pop this. I love it. Okay. So it's so cool. Okay, hold on. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, is it on the right side? It's here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, look at that. Oh my god! Oh, it looks so good! Isn't it? I can't even imagine how good it looks. But from here, it feels like an awesome stretch. Dude, that girl. I love it. Stephanie, we're gonna have to compose ourselves because it's gonna be like, look at this and look at that. That is, okay. No, 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 hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. I wanna show you something. I wanna, I wanna talk about something. Okay. You ready to talk about something? Are you ready to learn about something? I'll tell you something, okay. Do you notice that puppy? Do you see it? Yes. Okay, so that's Wait. a hand drawn poppy by none other than stephanie nicoli her own very self it is awesome and i want you to notice poppy and vine dot life sometimes clients will tell me that you have to have the dot com sure yes totes if you can get it but you know what's more important the work you put behind your name and i will tell you Lindsay, who's the founder of poppy and vine dot life Hardest working woman, hardest working woman. She's the, she's the real deal. something as new. as new so when you introduce something as new the fear of that not working out is really really huge or for us executive coaching you know we've focused the brand we've done we've done that executive coaching throughout the process but pivoting now and saying this is an actual focus so we're doing this with more intentionality with more time with more commitment with more focus than we have in the past means we are innovating and taking a risk in that and if it doesn't work out we're going to look like idiots this pressure 
and I think especially for startup uh, companies, like and what I consider start start up in this context is say somebody who says I want to, you know, start this, and it's not it's not gonna I'm not gonna get some hedge fund person to. Uh, fund my project it's not that kind of a startup but you and even then you would have to really dig in and understand why you do what you're doing and take those chances and those risks and so when you're a startup when you're starting a new endeavor I think the challenge and the pressure is for you to f do something that no one else is doing and that's always the question like you know who in, who are you and why should anyone care that you're doing this and how is it unique and special and different? And I don't know, I certainly think that there are tons of exceptions, but for the, for the regular, you know, for all intents and purposes in this conversation, I feel like it's not being unique and one of a kind. It's about putting a spin on it that maybe no one else is putting on it. Uh, bringing something to the table that is innovative, meaning it's new, it's presented as new. So, you so know. it's really a reinvention. Yeah, like, okay, I have an example. Uh, when I was a little girl, my grandmother was a, uh, had a garden and she had, she had all kinds of things, fruits, vegetables, and she also had a flower garden. And she would make these beautiful bouquets that she would take to the market, just like she would take all the other things to the market and sell them at the market. And she was known for her bouquets. Well, flowers grow in the spring, summer, fall, and then they don't grow in the winter, and especially not where I grew up. It was like, you know, Minnesota kind of winter, but it was communist Romania winter. Uh, and so what she did is she, she, I don't even know how she got her hands on like crepe paper, and she would make these beautiful, paper flowers and then would make paper bouquets of these beautiful little flowers and she would spray them with lacquer and so they, they would be durable so essentially she in reinvented um paper flowers fake flowers which if you go to any kind of craft store in america you know there's like aisles and aisles and aisles of any kind of fake flower you want so she didn't come up with anything new, but she innovated her process and she innovated what she was doing and she innovated her skill set. So she she loved flowers, she knew what was what people were looking for. She and she put a little bit of a spin on it. Now, she never sold, I don't think, but I could be wrong, I don't have the data on this, but I don't feel like she ever sold as many fake flowers as she sold real flowers. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But I certainly wouldn't be as interested in her fake flower bouquet as I was in her real flower bouquet. But that doesn't mean she didn't innovate or become very successful or, and actually known for that. So she just kind of put a spin on it. And that's what innovation is, introducing something as new into the marketplace with your own, with your own spin, with your own special touch. That's, that's all that is. It's not you have to, you in your entirety and your entire business model has to be completely new. In fact, I think that's a recipe for disaster because aren't we supposed to learn from one another and build on the emotional and intellectual intelligence we've gathered in our own lives and from others' processes that have worked for others and build on those. So yeah, innovation is exciting and a lot of pressure. When you pick it up, it's dripping with yeah, water. Yeah, but sopping is not a word, is it? Yeah. So what does sopping mean? I've never looked it up. Okay, here. Sopping wet. Saturated with liquid wet throughout. Sop is to soak up liquid using an abundant nope. absorbent substance. Wet nope. thoroughly soak. That's just a disgusting word. Soppy. You're so soppy today. <laughs> I'm great. How are you? I think it's amazing that I'm taking you to 
talk to your college counselor. College counselor? What? Here I come. It's fine. I'm gonna defuzz. I'm wearing my power heels. Even though I'm not gonna say a word because it's all about you.